terror is educational when we're terrified. We learn things and we make decisions and choices that uh, affect us for a long time because terror is emotional. And so it, uh, the choices we make when we're terrified, terrified um, stick with us for a long time. When I was a teenager, one summer I was working for my dad and his concrete business and my job was to fill bins and put stone and sand up into the, the bins for the, the block machine, the pipe machines uh, down below in the plant. And um, things were a little slow. I had the bins all full and we were getting a little low on the one kind of stone. So uh, I thought, well, I could run the dump truck over to the quarry and get some stone. It was just across the mountain uh, uh, on uh, uh, 501 there in Pennsylvania. And um, um, so it was uh, on the Pine Grove side of Mountain Summit Station, I think is actually where it was. And um, so it was only, you know, 15 minutes over there one way. And so I thought, well, I can run over there and get a load of stone and, and come back. So I, I uh, uh, talked to the person in charge of the truck and said, sure, yeah, you can do that. So I took the dump truck and headed over. It wasn't a real big dump truck. It was, uh, it was a, a B61 Mac. I don't know if you know anything about trucks, but this was back in the 70s. And B61 Mac was a, a, a small Mac truck with kind of rounded fenders. And, and uh, this particular model had two transmissions. It had a five and a three. It, one transmission had five gears. The other transmission had three gears. So you had a low, medium, high on the one transmission, and then one, two, three, four, five, and reverse on the other transmission. So you could go through five gears and then shift up to the medium and go through five gears, shift up to high and go through five gears again. So you had 15 gears altogether. It also had air brakes. I didn't have truck driving experience. I didn't know much about driving truck, but it wasn't that big of a truck. So it didn't seem like it was going to be a problem. Nobody gave me any advice. Nobody gave me any training. Nobody gave me any instructions about how to r r drive the truck. So I went over the mountain and going north and, and got loaded up with stone and I'm coming back. And I'm thinking, you know, I've heard about runaway trucks and trucks losing their brakes. And so I'm going to be really careful coming down the mountain. So I got to the top of the mountain. I shifted down. And I was just crawling, heading down over the mountain. However, what no one had told me and what I didn't know was that on that particular truck, you had to hook your arm between the two gear shifts because it would jump out of gear. And when it jumped out of gear, you couldn't get it back in unless you came to a stop. So I hadn't gone very far down the mountain until it jumped out of gear. I tried to get it back into gear. I could not get it back into gear. I stood on the brakes. I got about a third of the way down the mountain and I ran out of air. I had pumped away all the air in the air brakes. So there I was, one third of the way down the mountain no brakes, out of gear, just coasting, just rolling. And I was picking up speed. About halfway down the mountain, there was a long turn to the right. And I came around that turn, just hopping around the turn. And from there, it was just straight for a long, long way. But it went through a little town. And I came sailing down through that town, just, I don't know how fast I was going, but I was really moving. I came down, I went across Interstate 78. I came down over the uh, old 22. And finally down there, a mile or two later, there was, a, it started to be an upgrade. And eventually I ghosted to a stop. I put the truck in gear, I turned it off, 
and I just sat there and shook. I was so scared. I, there were so many things that could have gone wrong. There could have been a car in my way. There could, there could have been so many different things that could have happened, but nothing took place. And I got down there and came to a stop. I started up the truck and went back. And then later I found out what the problem was and what I needed to do. A few days later, a day or so later, I was at Midway Diner for lunch. And there was a man that worked in the gas station at the bottom of the mountain, right beside Interstate 78. And he said, hey, Merle, I saw you guys put a new driver on that dump truck again. I was like, uh, that was me. And he said, I can tell every time you do it because it comes down past the gas station. Well, that was me. And I was terrified. But I learned something. Before you do something you haven't done before, ask some questions. Find out how to do it. Don't just assume you know how to do stuff. 